Hey guys, this is Ring from The Ring. Remember that Raman journey that I took? I'm sitting on Young. We're gonna do another journey. You do know that I like ramen, right? So we're gonna do another ramen journey. We're gonna head to our first ramen parlor, which is on Young. We'll just head our way. Probably see it already. This is my top ramen place in Toronto. From what I've tried, this is the place. Let's go inside and try it out. The menu is this one. So they're all QR code these days. So they got these things here standing between customers who would be sitting next to us. So I want everybody to know that we sort of decided on one skimmer. I am gonna have number one, shiorame. The shiorame here is my top so far. Number one, shiorame. One shiorame yes. with the hard noodles yes. and more salt. Yes. And one skimmer. Skimmer. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. Here they are, skimmer and shiorame. It smells so good. Ramen, the broth always first. Their broth, amazing. It's just so good. It's so good. Satisfaction at its max. It's so good. To begin our ramen journey with Santoka is almost unfair to the rest of the parlors that we're gonna visit. But I'm gonna try to remain equal to each of the parlors that we're gonna visit. Okay, so I just finished the ramen, which was awesome. And as a tradition, I'm gonna see if there's anything on the bottom of the bowl. You know, it's always interesting what you're gonna find out in a new ramen place. But I already know what they have here, but just to show you guys. Mm-hmm. Amazing. And you can see, having had our tsukeme and shiorame, they're both amazing. If that was a surprise, <laughs> I don't know what you've been watching. But to sum it up, my personal take is Santoka, regardless of which Santoka in Toronto, their standards are high and they've remained their standards regardless which Santoka you've chosen to try out. I'm gonna try to get my butt up to the next location and show you guys what we're gonna try next. Well, here we are in the heart of North York is this Konjiki Ramen. To let you know where we are in North York, I'll show you. We're right here. This is where uh, Mount Lastman Square is, right underneath that Novotel. It's uh, North York City Hall, which makes it very convenient because, you know, like I said, we're pretty much in the middle of everything within the North Fork realm, of course. This is the place that we're gonna try it out for the second ramen of the day. Meet this very secure by having two doors. <laughs> and let's go inside. You can tell it looks pretty, uh, looks pretty cool. And if nobody knows, they actually and cooperated with Sadio Cafe. Check them all out. If you're still hungry after your ramen, you can always just step over and try the dessert out. The signature is what it says right in front of you. The clam broth ramen. Let's see what else they have. You know, they have a whole bunch of different other stuff like tonkotsu ramen, look at spicy miso, and you know, your other appetizers and 
vegetarian choices if you're sort of like a vegan. So we ordered a um, chestnut cake and then a hojita because they said that you could actually enjoy the dessert from Rosario over here. Which is the first, so if I remember last time, you had to step over to that side. And I got the uh, normal size, signature clam broth, and mild, which is show and not show you. So my clam broth ramen came, and at first, you know, clam broth doesn't really I can register the uh, clam broth and xiao and ramen. And it, I mean, like clam broth itself maybe as a creamy soup, but with ramen, I don't know. First, I'm gonna try the broth. Wow, that's seafood. <laughs> so it's really got that clam taste, like legit. It's nice and hot, that's very important. Chashu, pretty nice proportion. The proportion is pretty good. Now I'm gonna try the ramen itself. This ramen, besides the fact that it's very seafoody, lets you feel like it's comfort food. I have no idea why. I'm not, I'm not really a big seafood person. The presentation is pretty. Like I said, anything that pork or char siu with ramen noodles and the clam broth would mix, but it really does. It's really good. Again, I've pretty much finished the bowl of noodles. Here's I'm gonna finish this off for you guys. And as everybody see, in this case, their bowl, the bottom of the bowl, it is, there's no different patterns or special graphics or anything. It's just this one on the side. We just finished from Kanchiki. It's really good. It's very special. It's very different than what you would have at a ramen parlor. So if you like clam, seafood type of broth, this is the place to go to. Again, I'm here at, you can see, walking rain for you guys. Right here, this place. That's right. So today we have came to Udu's Noodle Bar here on Danforth and Broadview. This location is pretty convenient located, especially when it's like across from the subway. I'm gonna check them out and see what they got on offer for uh, 2022. Okay, so let's go. QR code menu list. But the waitress did tell me that we don't order through our app or the phone. We order through her, which I like it a little bit better. <laughs> so I just wanna show you guys, they do actually have, you know, cocktails and wine and beer and umeshu, whiskey and all that stuff too. This is the menu, it's um, through Quick Post Online. What I think it's pretty cool is they actually make your own ramen, you know. It's, uh, some people like, you know, I want this, I don't want that, and all that, and so maybe that's easier for them to just, okay, yeah, make your own, you know, tell us what you want. <laughs> this is what I'm gonna order. The Dew's Rich Seal Noodle is nice and thick and looks chewy. And the broth, wow, it's already, look at this, wow. It's a, uh, very thick, like it says, it's thick. Oh. It's got this freshness. I don't know what it is. I don't, I know that it's pork. I don't know. It, it almost tastes half like a clear broth. Anyways, check this noodle out. Mm. Wow, that is really good. The saltiness is just almost perfect. I like it a little bit salty. And I like the noodles a little bit hard. And they're, you know, pretty much exactly the way I like it. Now I'm gonna try the cha Mmm. Mmm. It's got a special smokiness to it. It's really special. This rich shiora brings out that shionis. Shio? When it's made right, it's just amazing. You guys should just 
come and try this for sure, definitely. So I'm also trying the clear broth, the chicken broth, that is. Um, the nostalgic Japanese shiro ramen. <laughs> Mm. Mm. This is just as good. Like I said, the saltiness is, to me, it's perfect. This one, it just really depends on if you want a clear or a rich. Try this sashu as well. Mm. Goes really well with the clear broth. Just as good. So we're heading off to another ramen parlor around Toronto and this one is a little bit more downtown not like the Ryu's little ramen bar. Dajin. They're situated in a Wellesley area, Wellesley station area. Walking over here and this is the Raijin ramen or ramen raijin and again this was like Ryu's uh, many years ago we been here once I don't remember what it tastes like because last time I came here I didn't have ramen it used to be a lot easier to get to here because you could enter from Wellesley but now you cannot you have to go around around this little side street and on to the St. Joseph over there if you're not driving it's very convenient it's like three minutes walk, two minutes walk from Wellesley Station. But anyways, we've came here to check out their ramen and see what they're really good for. So let's go. So again, you guys can see, scan the menu. So show you guys what they got here. The first item is the uh, Hakata style and then they have spicy tonkotsu. And uh, Onami show you vegetable miso, Hokkaido miso. So as you can see, we got the Gaijin Sapporo. <laughs> but that's not what I want to tell you. You know what I want to tell you? This place here, they used to have um, on the side, a supermarket, like a little tiny mini market. Not even, it's not super, <laughs> it's a mini market. Um, but I think maybe because of the COVID thing, I don't, I don't see it anymore. Hakata ramen came and it looks really delicious. Wow. Oh man. Can I tell you? My right man. off the bat, you could taste that, um, I call it seafood taste. It's, it's got, it's not like fishy, but it's got that freshness um, from seafood in the broth. Hmm. Mm. It's really good. That broth actually transcends into a pork taste instead of what I noticed it when I had it at first by itself, you know, with the seafood, but with the ramen, the big bite, it tastes different. So now, I'm gonna try this. It's fried to crispy, and it's in golden brown. I'm gonna try it out. Hmm. As you can see inside, it's super tender, and it's very juicy. And outside, it's like crispy. It's amazing. <sighs> okay, so here we are in broad view, which is like my childhood pretty much i used to like just ride here on my bmx well i'm riding my bmx everywhere like i ride my motorcycle these days everywhere and i didn't actually live close to here but 
I always took my BMX here because it was cool. It was, it was like a nice place to hang out. Plus, a few friends there down Broadview and they went to Riverdale and stuff. Anyways, you could see that places like OG Zaichi actually decided to open their store here. And if you know that Mitch, the, one of the chefs, one of the owners, has actually been into Momofuku, which we've been to as well. Momofuku plus Grey Garden is one of the places that, you know, he was a chef at and he was, he's good, okay? Everybody knows that. So, and he decided to open another place down here in so-called East Chinatown. I don't classify it as no East Chinatown or not. It's just Broadview area, right? I mean, that's where all the OG stuff happened. That's where everything started. And they're gonna try to start something right here. We're gonna go in there and we're gonna check it out. I think we'll be pretty pleasantly surprised. Okay, so we came down to Broad view, yes, just OG places where this OG Seichi is open. And if you don't know OG Seichi, then I'm not sure if you really love ramen or not. One of the owners, Mitch, he is the one who's been to Momofoku and Great Garden. And if you like ramen and all, you've been to those places. Anyways, I'm gonna try the ramen because that's what they're famous for. Besides their sandies, you know, I wanna come back for the sandies, but try this. This is really good. The ramen is chewy. The saltiness is perfect. It's smooth and creamy, but not overly oily at all. I'm gonna try the egg. Egg is super tender. And of course, got the heart. <laughs> it just melted in my mouth. That's crazy. You see that it's sort of tender? It is, right? In the mouth, as soon as I put it in the just literally, it just, you know, God. Like, it's amazing. It's really, really good. I'm not kidding you. In the combination with the ramen, it's unbeatable. It's crazy good. Mm. Okay, so we just finished our ramen inside OG Seichi, as you've seen. It's cooked very perfectly. The ramen is chewy to where, you know, it's not overly chewy. Some are, right? Some are chewy, but they took it to the extreme and it's a little bit too much. And here, the broth is also wonderfully delicious, yet it's creamy, but without being heavy. Like, you know how when it's creamy, and it just becomes heavy. Like it's just, it's natural, right? But here, they're, like everything is done to perfection. It's like, it's sort of like a delicacy, you know? Um, so if you're looking for something really authentic and something really special, um, in, you know, in a form of ramen, come down here, Oji Seichi in Broadview area. Gotta check it out.